What's good, y'all? Wave Magnetic here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to master your song in Ableton using just the stock plugins. Okay, it's very possible, and you can get very good results with that. So let's get to it over here. All right. So when you're doing your songs, when you're trying to master your songs. Um, is really simple it's not always the most complicated thing a lot of times people make it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be but to me it's always simple it's just a few things you need to do you got to make sure that you get a competitive level and you need to make sure that it sounds good you know you want to get clarity you want to make sure uh just that it sounds good you know that it works you know so um the, what i'm going to be using today is this little rack right here that i created this uh ableton audio effects rack and um you can actually purchase this rack on my website at wavemagnetic.com uh it's uh yeah it's just a little rack with eight knobs that'll get you from not being mastered to being mastered okay so you can use this uh, on your mix bus if you want to and mix into this or you can do it the way I'm doing it right now where you want to bounce out your track with nothing on the um, on the master just bounce out the track uh, the mix the way it is and uh, and then you put this rack on there and when we master it that's what we're gonna be doing today so the first thing that you want to do to make sure that this uh, is gonna turn out good for you is I would suggest normalizing your track okay and in Ableton it's not very hard to do this is just so that you hit the rack at the right level so that you can get the best results okay so it's really simple all you got to do is double click on the track okay make sure the warp is turned off and then hit command J so after you hit command J as you can see it doesn't look like it changed much right but if you look underneath here you got this little thing that went down to negative 17.9 that's how far away my track is from zero okay so make sure this warp is turned off again you don't want to be mastering with the warp on and just double click here so it goes to zero and now your track is normalized so now basically what that means is the highest peak on the track is hitting zero it's not clipping it's not going above zero but it normalizes so that the highest peak goes to zero okay as long as you're not clipping you're doing good all right so the way the rack is set up is that the compression and everything that's in here is set to work well if you have your track normalized like that all right so now i don't have to play with this at all uh this thing set to negative 10 um if the track is normalized should be just enough compression to set up to work that way okay so now uh after we get that going the next thing i want to do is i want to get use some of the clipper so what i'm going to be doing with the clipper is i'm going to be just shaving off the top edges of the uh of the track okay that's going to make it so we can get more level more clean level and it's going to give us a little bit of vibe all right check it out That sounds pretty clean to me right there, all right? So now, the next thing I'm gonna do, after you hit the clipper to whatever uh, volume you need it to be at, okay? Just get it so that it sounds clean. Get it, go beyond where it sounds clean and pull it back until it sounds clean. Now, I'm just gonna boost the level up another 3 dB. That's competitive level now, you know? It's pretty simple. All you do is you get the clipper up to what you need it to be, you get right before it starts distorting, right where it sounds sweet. And then after that, you just uh, boost the level knob 
up another 3 dB, and then you'll have good, clean, loud gain, all right? So now after we do that, all we're trying to do now is get the tone of it right, okay? So right now we're getting, uh, I'm gonna mess with this clarity knob, all right? Let's see what we get. Sounds pretty clean to me right there. You get that boost that clarity up, and uh, now it sounds like it's cutting through. Um, I have this set right here automatically where it says side low cut. What that does, that monos the bass. Everything below 120 hertz is now mono. So I won't mess with that because that's just the way I have it set up. You don't have to touch that, okay? The next thing I have here is the mid low cut. Okay, now what that does is that cuts off everything below uh, 27 hertz. Okay, now for this song, I feel like that's a good spot. I mean, the lowest note on the song I think is an F or a G or something like that. No, it's an E. Lowest note is an E. That's below E right there. Okay. So we're good. That cleans up all of the mud down there that you don't need. And, and uh, if you don't get rid of that, the clipper will not do its job. It's going to start clipping a lot earlier. It's not going to sound right. So I would suggest that you leave that mid-low cut where it is. And in some cases, boost it up higher, up to maybe 30 or 35 hertz. But in this case, 27 works really good. All right. So now I'm going to turn this vibe knob and see what I can get out of that. That sounds pretty clean right there. That adds a nice thickness to the song right there, okay? That vibe, it makes it real thick and full, you know what I mean? Um, the next thing is the thump. So that right there is gonna give me some low end thump. I feel like the low end on this track is actually pretty good the way it is. So I don't really need to, but I'm gonna turn the knob just so you can see what it does. So you can see how it really gives you that girth in the low end and gives you some more of that thump. But on this song, it really doesn't need it. So that right there is it. This song is now mastered. So if you learned something new, uh, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends. And also if you wanna pick up the WM Master uh, rack, uh, just go to my website at wavemagnetic.com. You can get the link down in the description below. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know the next time I put a video out. All right, y'all. Peace.